Hey, this is Bill Stewart, and you are watching SanClementiTimes.com. On this week's Board Shorts episode, we're going to catch up with Bill Stewart, master shaper and artist, as he paints his brand new mural right in front of his shop on the south end of San Clemente on El Camino Real. So Bill, what do you have going here? What's the... Uh... Well, this is the underwater part of it. I'm doing the details on the little tiny fish right here, trying to get all the little uh, hi highlights and just putting little stripes and uh, things on the, on the fish, give them little details. You know, sometimes I put a little highlights on the rocks, give them little spots that... The white, magic of white is incredible because it makes everything really snap and pop out of the picture. It adds a lot to it. Obviously this picture, this painting is uh, 40 feet by, I think, 12 or 13 feet tall, so you really got to get back to, to get the full uh, look at this thing. So sometimes up close these kind of loose paintings are uh, matters to get back and really see the, the it all ties together. So anyway, I'm kind of having fun with it. Been painting on it for quite a while. Got a lot of time tied up in this one. This is almost two weeks on this one and this is the third mural that I've done uh, in 22 years I've been in this location. Now, the first one was one big wave then I did a full set of waves where there was like three or four waves peeling all rights. This time, because I'm a goofy foot, I did lefts. And uh, there's a couple little lefts over there. There's a big giant le left, so. Uh, Is it modeled after any one left in particular? Well, the picture that, the big wave up there was a photo out of a magazine from Australia. Uh, a beautiful photograph. So that, that I kind of used that part of it to initiate it. But uh, the rest of it's just kind of out of my mind or some photos and pictures and stuff. What, what else inspires you when it comes to, to making a mural of this caliber? Well, the, you know, I've done quite a few murals and I've painted about everything you can paint. I get inspired by a bunch of different things, uh, you know, when you see things. And most artists, I, I thought everybody saw everything the way I did. You know, you think people see things like you do, that you, you see them totally different as an artist. And everybody that's walked up and looked at this painting, somebody will go, look at the waterfall, look at the mountain, look at the fish, look at the turtle, or look at that wave. But to, for me, I see the whole composition of the entire thing and all the colors and the highlights and the shadowing, you know, of, of the details of the shadowing and making it look deep and rich. And truthfully, if you want to see the best this mural can look, come by at night. At night, it's beautiful. We got it all spotlighted and everything highlights and the turtles look like they're really just swimming deep underwater. Yeah, what you're looking at there is a whole bunch of layered tint colors. You, you put layer after layer after layer and if you look, the, this underwater stripes, there's uh, those white reflections. Those are done, first I put brown, then I fling paint with a paintbrush and put speckles to make it look like sand. And then I cross hatch with white to look at the reflections of the surface of the water on the bottom. And then what I do is I put a, a tint on top of that. So this tint overlays and it gives it this crazy deep, really deep water look. And uh, t using tints helps a lot with that sort of, uh, when you're doing that style. Every day I come out here and it's hard to get anything done because people are honking their horns and waving and stuff. <laughs> And, and everybody loves the mural, so it's, uh, it, you know what's really cool is people drive by and you can see a grumpy guy drive by and then his face smiles and he's all stoked on it. That, that's kind of the fun of all this. Well, the majority of these paints, they're mostly just acrylics. And, you know, most people, you know, use acrylics uh, because they're easy cleanup, they're water-based. You know, oils are tougher and this one will be graffiti uh, coated a clear coat put on it to seal it. Uh, my last mural got graffitied uh, only one time in 22 years, but the guy got me pretty good, so. Oh yeah, it was painful, and it was Halloween night after I painted 22 kids' faces for Halloween for free, just as fun, for fun. And they were all lined up, and I'm painting their faces, and I go home, and phone rings, and they said, hey, somebody, there's been some vandalism, and I thought, oh, no big deal, it's water-based paint. Came out here and tried to rinse it off, and it wouldn't come off. It was a fluorescent orange um, paint, which was kind of a really a bad deal. You know, I'm real close to finished, and uh, I'm leaving to Montauk on Sunday to go to a. We're having a surfing, uh, golf, and fishing uh, event, and uh, hopefully my friend Jimmy Buffett will be there with us. 
and we're gonna have just a really, really good time. So I'm trying to get this done so I can go on a crazy vacation with the boys. Well, the question is, where do you, where is it over? Where does it end? I mean, I got all these other things I want to add into the painting, and it's like I've got a lot of time into this already. So it's like, where do you say finished, done? You know, it's pretty hard. Uh, I kind of wanted to put a little shack back in the bushes with a little campfire burning, like some people are camping, and that would be cool, you know, but will I get to that? I don't know. I'm auditioning for a TV commercial tomorrow, and I'm leaving to Montauk on Sunday, so <laughs> my life is getting crazy. Uh, my shop's absolutely killing it right now. We're doing the best we've ever done, and everybody's gloom and doom right now. We're not, and I'll tell you why. I created a little tiny short board called the Fart Knocker, which is absolutely a hilarious name. It's a little four fin board. It's for little tricks and a lot of times it's uh, for kids, you know, for their first board. We make little four foot six to, to six foot ones. And uh, a lot of times the people will just get that as their first board, which is kind of cool to sell a kid your first surfboard. And then we got the five fin S Winger. The S Winger I've sold over 500 in one, less than a year. And that board has everything I've ever invented melted into one board. The beveled rail, the S rail, single to double concaves, and I put all five fins on it just to see how it worked, and it worked so good, that's how I started selling it. So that's the way everyone's riding it and, and just loving it. The board's selling itself because it rides so good. I don't have to push it that much. You just have to kind of make sure if it's good, it's good, and people know it. Hi, I'm Bill Stewart, and uh, we are on San Clemente Board Shorts. What was I supposed to say? <laughs> this is the Fart Knocker. You're watching SanClementeTimes.com.